Do you, and I think I could benefit a lot from this question as well, do you have a go-to way to talk about Jesus in spaces with people that do not know him? So good, so good. All right, guys, recently, this was probably the most challenging situation I've been in for this type of scenario where 99% of the people do not love Jesus, and I was definitely outside my comfort zone. I was asked to be a speaker at Earth Day in the middle of New York, in Manhattan, in the middle of Times Square, with the King of Dubai, and this huge, in, so he's Muslim, and then this huge influencer from India, like he knows all the main leaders there in India. Um, there's these Buddhists that were from Nepal. So Buddhism, and then there was these like Indians that like worshiped Indian gods. And I only knew one other person in that room that really did love Jesus. And I'm like, wow, like Lord, help me know how to articulate the gospel in words if you want me to, but especially in my actions. And what I have learned is that over and over again, our actions speak volumes over anything that we have to say. So for, I think that humble posture of allowing other people to be heard, to be seen, and to feel loved and honored around you, that's where you start. And so especially in high school and middle school and college, building those relationships to know that they that you genuinely care for them that you want to hear them and maybe they just hear oh where are you set like wednesday oh i went to youth group and you know i think that that is a great way to pave the open door for you know if they wanted to know more about your faith and to hear about jesus then they'll be they'll ask for it and or you'll feel prompted to speak it out to them but this You know, no one likes to be told or no one likes to be like shouted out or saying that you're wrong. And I think I stumbled quite a bit in just developing my faith when I was younger. I was pretty harsh because I was like, oh, I realized that a lot of my friends, um, like especially going into freshman year, a lot of the girls on the cheerleading team, they were doing things uh, a lot that I, like I started hanging out with them like, oh, my middle school didn't do that. Like... They never experienced those things. Where are all these boys coming from? And I was slowly just hanging around them, and it wasn't becoming as abnormal as it should be to me at that point in life. And I I had to decide to step away from that group of friends. So I think it's just being able to make the tough choices with those friendships. But with sharing Jesus, I was pretty harsh because I was like, well, you know, you don't love the Lord, and these guys do, and made them feel bad, and I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should have just said, oh, yeah, like, I, I'm just going to hang out with these guys and love, you know, maybe show them support by showing up for their, their, their uh, sports activity or just asking for creative ways to support them. But yeah, I, I definitely would, you have to take care of yourself and you don't want to drown. So like get yourself out of those situations if you're around people that don't love God and love Jesus and are, yeah, it's just, it is, it's too easy to be pulled down. And, but do it in a way that you, you can look back on and say, I honored them and supported them even though they don't love Jesus.